Hi guys, it's Chelsea and welcome back to my channel. As some of you have requested, today I'm gonna be giving you tips and tricks on how to speak English fluently. So just a little disclaimer, I am not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not in any way bragging about the way I speak in English. It's just that some of you have requested it and actually a number of you and I wanna be able to grant your request guys and don't be bothered by the kid that's right there, that's my cousin. And also, English is not my first language. I did not grow up speaking it. It's just that I am really fond of the language, but I I also really love the Filipino language. I think it's really beautiful and it really bothers me the fact that it's being proposed that the Filipino language be totally removed from the college curriculum. Yeah, without further ado, let's get on to the video. Number one. Always, 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 always read. I don't know how much I can emphasize that point, but reading, as we all know, is an essential. It widens your knowledge about things. And when you read, even silently or loudly, of course, English books, be it your school books or novels or classics, whatever you like. So guys, when you read, even if it's in silence, you are mentally, you're like mentally pronouncing the words. And not only that, you're also widening your vocabulary, you're learning new words every day, every single time you read. And also, you are just gaining knowledge. So tip number two is start with believing in yourself. I mean, I think that should have been tip number one, but anyway. Um, believe in yourself, don't doubt in yourself, don't think that some people speak English better than you because no matter what you do, there's always someone better than you. But in some ways, don't be intimidated by other people who actually speak other languages better than you because it makes no sense. Just instead, turn it around, use it, use those people who speak the language better than you as an inspiration to improve yourself and become better in relation with the previous tip tip number three is do not be afraid to make mistakes while speaking the language because everyone makes it even local americans make mistakes while speaking their own language so do not be afraid to make mistakes those mistakes are actually areas for improvement tip number four is to listen listen to your English professor, listen to locals who speak the language, listen to podcasts, listen to talks. Basically, just listen and keep your ears open because when you listen to people speaking in English, you're going to notice how they pronounce certain words. You're going to notice how they actually speak and make use of their accent. Tip number five is try watching foreign films and series because when watching foreign films and series... In the long run, you're gonna adapt the way they speak, especially when watching series that have ran for like a long period of time. Like me, I have watched Friends and I watched it for months. Friends has 10 seasons and I think 230 plus episodes. And it's impossible if you don't learn a thing or two from, from a series that long. So try watching series and films and soon you're gonna be able to adapt the way they speak. Tip number six is try learning a new word every day. You can use a dictionary or an app, whichever you prefer. Just try learning a new word and don't just learn it. Try to use it in a real sentence when conversing with other people. And in relation to that, tip number seven is actually try conversing with other people using, in, using the English language. So, um, me and my friends, we always like to play a game where hey, let's not speak Filipino and whoever fails or whoever um, the, whoever does not speak in English will will lose, of course. And it's always a fun game because um, we can notice a lot of people in the university staring at us because we're, stalk we're, stalking, we're talking in English. And it's just so funny because, of course, anything that you do with your friends is funny. Also, if you have friends who are foreigners, you can try to speak with them, you can try to converse with them and ask them um, about certain words that you don't know the meaning of. So, number eight is to practice having a correct grammar. I mean, it's not wrong to make mistakes, but some people just can't help but notice it when you make grammatical errors when speaking. And also, um, I don't think it would make much sense if you speak really good or if your accent is really nice, but 
you don't make sense when speaking. I mean, just that grammar is still an essential. It's still important to learn the proper subject verb agreement or what pronoun to use or what kind of um, conjunction to use. The likes. And lastly, tip number nine is to practice, practice, practice. I cannot stress that point enough, but just practice. Try speaking to yourself in front of a mirror if you don't have someone to converse with. And also, try searching the correct pronunciation of certain words because there are a lot of words in the English language that are commonly mispronounced that we don't know we're mispronouncing. For example, utensils is supposed to be utensils. Root is supposed to be route. There are still a lot. I can, I can go on and on and on and on. About it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'm really sorry if you find the way I look weird today. As you can see, I have a busted lip and you'll find out in the vlog how and why I got this. So again, that's about it for this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Also share it to your friends. Comment down below what videos you want me to do next and please click the subscribe button and the bell button so you get notified whenever I post another video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. By the way, this is my cousin's call. Siya po yung sobrang ingay kanina if you can hear a lot of background noises. Siya yun. Again guys, bye. I love you. Mwah.